Disney Fairies, Tinkerbell, and the Great Fairy Rescue. Fairy Rescue Team, adapted by Kimberly Morris, illustrated by the Disney Storybook Artists. One day, when the fairies were on the mainland during the summer season change, a big storm blew in. Suddenly, Vidya came running into the fairy camp. Tinkerbell's been captured by humans, she cried. What? the others gasped. All of Tink's friends, Silvermist, Fawn, Rosetta, Iridessa, Clank and Bobble, gathered around Vidya. She told them how she and Tinkerbell had left the camp earlier and gone exploring. Tinkerbell went into this little house in the meadow and couldn't get back out, Vidya told the others. The little house Vidya was talking about was a fairy house built by a human girl named Lizzie. She had hoped it would attract the attention of a curious fairy like Tinkerbell. And it had. Vidya had followed the little girl to the big house where she lived. But Vidya soon realized she couldn't save Tink by herself. She would have to get help. Tinkerbell's friends started planning a rescue right away. The rain made it impossible for them to fly. Water makes fairy wings too heavy. They decided to build a boat out of bark and twigs. If they couldn't fly to the rescue, they would sail to the rescue. It was a dangerous journey. Floodwaters swirled around them. Fawn climbed to the top of the mast to see what was ahead. Oh no, they were headed straight for a waterfall. If they went over, they would crash into the rocks below. Silvermist, the water fairy, knew just what to do. Rosetta, come grab my feet, she said. With Rosetta holding onto her ankle, Silvermist leaned out of the boat and touched the raging water with her fingertips. Using all of her water fairy magic and strength, Silvermist made a water bridge. The passengers held on for dear life as the boat shot down this new pathway of water, avoiding the waterfall. It was a wild ride. The boat zoomed over the jagged rocks and crashed into a bank of tall weeds. None of the fairies were injured, but the boat was destroyed. Looks like we're walking from here, Vidya said. But walking where? Fawn asked. There's no way of knowing which way to go, Clank moaned. The fairies were lost. Just then, Vidya looked at the ground and saw a trail of buttons. The same buttons that had led Tinkerbell to the fairy house. I know where we are, Vidya announced happily. Vidya led the group through the high grass to a road. But the road was flooded. She bravely jumped in and landed in muddy water up to her knees. It's not deep, she said. We could walk across. One by one, the others walked through the icky mud. But when it was Rosetta's turn, she shook her head. I don't really do mud, she told them. But you're a garden fairy, Vidya argued. Rosetta realized she had no choice. She took off her sandals and stepped daintily across. You, squishy, she complained. With everyone safely across, it was Vidya's turn to get out of the road. But when she tried to move, she sank deeper into the mud. Vidya was stuck. Then the fairies heard the sound of a car and saw headlights speeding toward them. The car was aimed right for Vidya. The other fairies tried to pull her free, but it was no use. This time, it was Iridessa, 
the light fairy who came to the rescue. Iridessa held out her hand and caught the glare from the headlights in her palm. Using her fairy magic, she bent the light back toward the car. The driver saw the light and thought a motorcycle was coming toward him. At the last second, he veered to the side, barely missing the fairies. When the car came to a stop, the driver got out to look around. Hello, he shouted. Is somebody out there? Anyone? The fairies kept very quiet. Fawn noticed that the driver's boot was untied. The lace flopped beside her, and she handed it to Vidya. Vidya held on to the boot lace. When the driver walked back to his car, he lifted his boot and, whoop, he pulled the fairies up out of the mud and safely across the road. The rescue party could continue. As the group got closer to their destination, Vidya grew more worried. She had a guilty secret, and she couldn't keep it to herself any longer. Listen, there's something you all should know, she told the others. Tinkerbell getting trapped is my fault. Vidya admitted that she had slammed the door of the little house and then hadn't been able to get it open. Now I've put us all in danger. I am so sorry. The others reminded Vidya that Tinkerbell was always getting into trouble. Getting Tink out of trouble sometimes felt like a full-time job. They were glad to have Vidya as part of the team. The girls put their hands together and invited Vidya to join them in their special friendship pledge. Faith, trust, and pixie dust, they all recited. The fairies kept going through the dark and rainy night. When they reached the house where Lizzie lived, they sneaked into the kitchen. Vidya told them to be very careful. Not only did they need to watch out for the little girl and her father, they also needed to watch out for a cat. Cat, Iridessa gasped. What cat? That cat, Clank and Bobble wailed. Just then, Mr. Twitches, the cat, came in. He was wet, and he was angry. The fairies backed into a corner, and Mr. Twitches pounced. The fairies scattered in every direction. Clank landed on a shelf and sprinkled pixie dust on all the cups and saucers. The dishes floated into the air, and the fairies jumped aboard, spinning around the kitchen. That was when Form, the animal fairy, spotted a plant on the windowsill. Rosetta, is this what I think it is? Darling, that's exactly what you think it is. Catnip. Clever Fawn used all her animal fairy magic, plus a little bit of the catnip, to tame Mr. Twitches. A few whiffs turned him into a real pussycat. Everybody climbed aboard the happy kitty and prepared to find Tinkerbell. But they didn't have to go far. Because at that moment, Tink came into the kitchen with Lizzie. Tinkerbell, the fairy shouted. The rescue was a success. The fairies knew that after the rain stopped, it was going to be a wonderful summer. Not just for them, but also for Lizzie, the little girl who believed in fairies. <laughs>